there are so many different brushes out there which can be really confusing. So how many brushes do you think you need for eye makeup? The answer is actually zero. But if you're a beginner who absolutely wants to practice with brushes, or if you're a professional applying eyeshadows on your clients, using your fingers is a big no-no. Today I'm going to simplify it for you and show you just four different brushes that you'll need to apply professional grade eye makeup. So if you're ready, let's begin. The first brush that I recommend is a flat shader brush. As the name suggests, when you look on the side of the brush, the bristles lay flat. And because they're flat, they can easily pack on powder or cream. For example, like I'm showing you here, you can use the flat shader brush with concealers to clean up around the brows as a primer on the lids or even around the eyes. Flat shader brushes pick up a lot of product and because of that, it helps to evenly apply eyeshadows across the eyelid. You can also very easily create cut creases with a flat shader brush. Size does matter. Larger brushes help you to cover larger areas and when you want more intricate work like a clean cut crease or application of an eyeshadow in the inner corner, you can use smaller flat brushes. You can use it with both matte as well as shimmer and metallic eyeshadows. Flat shader brushes are either rounded or flat on top. I personally prefer the rounded ones because they're more universal and can be used for several different things. And then we have the most common of them all. It's called a blending brush. This is how it looks. This is the Sigma E40, which is my favorite blending brush. It's loose dome shaped brush, which is used for blending the eyeshadow. This can easily buff out transition shades either in the crease or in the lower lash line or even blend eyeshadows on your lid. Because of the dome shape, it can easily buff out the eyeshadows and soften it up. So next time you find yourself having harsh lines from the eyeshadows, all you need to do is buff it out using a blending brush. Next we have the angled brush. If you observe the bristles, they're angled and not straight. You can use angled brushes on your brows to fill them in, especially when you're using a pomade or a powder shadow. It's very easy to pick up a lot of color with this, so you can go deeper on your brows or you can go lighter as you prefer. And it's very easy to draw hair-like strokes, especially in those sparse areas, giving your brows a very natural look. It can also be used to apply eyeliners, whether powder, gel or liquid eyeliner, and create a cat-eyed look. And then we have the pencil brush, which looks like a pencil. The tip is pointed and dome shaped. The bristles are shorter than a blending brush and they're more stiff, not as flexible as blending brushes. They're shaped like a pencil so they can emphasize every corner of the eye, like the inner corner, the crease, the lower lash line, doing more detailed work. You can use this brush to add more depth to your eye makeup by applying the shadow right in your crease or to define your lower lash line and the outer corner. The pencil brush can also be used as a smudge brush either to smudge out your coal kajal or gel liner or simply smoke out your cat winged liner. With that my friends we've completed an entire eye makeup look with these four brushes. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If it was please don't forget to thumbs up. It only helps the algorithm and helps me grow and come up with more useful tutorials for you guys and do check out the description box right below this video for all the four brushes that I used and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already if you want to watch more tutorials like these. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys. <music>